If you're a mosaic artist or you're interested in making mosaic art and you'd like to share your love of this art form in some small way with family and friends, then today's video is for you. We'll explore at least 10 different mosaics that you can make in a few hours or less. And each of these mosaics would cover everyone on your gift list. They're fully customizable and will allow you to create a special mosaic that's specific to the gift recipient. Are you ready to start planning? Let's get to it. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects, all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. I'm often asked in the comments sections of my videos, especially around this time of year, which is the holidays, what quick and easy mosaics could you make to give as gifts? Mosaic art makes a perfect gift, and I understand that I'm coming from a very biased place, but it's true. Mosaic is gorgeous with all the possible tesserae you could use, but also, oftentimes, it can be functional art as well, and truly one of a kind. And nowadays, with people wanting to have unique, highly personal items, whether they're wearing them or displaying them in their homes, the choices are limitless. Mosaic is timeless, classic, eclectic, sentimental, and intricate. It can also be easy to make, and I'm going to show you that today. So whether you need a holiday gift or let's say a birthday, wedding, or just because gift, once you're done watching this video, you'll have a long list of items to choose from. And again, the goal is quick and easy while making the biggest impact. All of the projects you'll see here today are from other videos here on my channel, and I'll include links to all of those down below in the description. Now you can access that information if you're on your computer by clicking show more underneath the video description. And if you're watching this on your phone or your tablet, you can click the down arrow to the right of the video title. And within each video description, there is a full list of all of the tools and substrates and materials and adhesives, all the extra goodies that you need for each of those projects. So I'm showing you how to make it, I'm showing you what you need, and I'm showing you where to get it. So in today's video, we'll go over some quick and easy mosaics that you can make in a matter of a couple hours or less. They're beautiful, functional, unique, and unforgettable. How's that for a buildup? We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. This list of mosaic projects is in no particular order, and they were selected because they'll take two hours or less to complete. So in other words, two hours of hands-on physical tiling time or grouting time in order to complete. I say that because sometimes you need to allow for sealers or adhesive or grout to dry in between each step but roughly two hours max is what you would need to complete these projects. And if you need to make a bunch of mosaics, you could set up an assembly line and that would speed things up even more. This is especially helpful if you have a long gift list. And I'll also add that quick and easy does not necessarily mean small in size. To kick off our list, you could make mosaic coasters. Now here on my channel, I've shown you a few different ways to make mosaic coasters. Whether you make one or a set, they're always appreciated and loved. 
The first coaster style is from the video I did with my son, Owen. To give you an idea, he was around 10 years old when we filmed this video. So this is a mosaic project that you could easily get the kids involved with. The substrate is a metal coaster blank. And this style of mosaic doesn't involve any tesserae cutting at all. So no tools are required. We used one inch uncut glass tiles exclusively. Owen enjoyed the process of picking out the glass tile colors and gluing them onto the substrate. He made some of these coasters previously so the coasters that we were making in the video were actually commissions he was paid to make for clients. He also fully participated in the grouting and finishing off as well. A set of four of this style of coaster could be completed in a few hours total. And they're so lovely and modern. This second mosaic style of coaster is a lot more involved. And that's the color block style. This design requires basic cutting skills using wheeled glass nippers. I used vitreous glass exclusively, but you could certainly use other types of glass like stained glass or glass tile. The cuts are all straight cuts and form either squares or rectangles. Color block is a timeless, classic design and the pattern could accommodate so many different colorways. You could do multiple shades of one color, or like mine here, you could mix it up and bring in a few different colors. The coasters are grouted as well. A set of four coasters in this style would be a larger time commitment, but one would be much more manageable if you're short on time. This would be perfect for a nightstand or even your work from home desk. The next item on our list is mosaic rings. These are so quick and fun to make. I could seriously sit for hours and hours and make a bunch of these. There are so many fun ring substrates available. In this video, I used materials like stained glass, beads, vitreous glass, and ceramic hearts to create five distinct ring designs in a very short period of time. And yes, all of them were grouted. However, you may choose not to grout yours. It's just personal preference. Rings do require you to work with small tesserae, but honestly, it didn't feel intimidating or challenging. And obviously it goes pretty quickly because there's not much surface area of the substrate to be tiled. I loved the red heart ring so much that I made one for myself as well. I don't do that very often. I did do that though with another item on this list as well. And we'll get to that in a minute. Most ring substrates are one size fits all, so rest assured the gift recipient will be able to wear your mosaic art. Next on the list are letter openers because snail mail is very much alive, people, or so I'd like to think. These are a quick mosaic because again, there's not a lot of surface area to tile. In the video I did here on the channel, I tiled both sides of the letter opener with the same design and it went very quickly. One letter opener involved pink vitreous glass in a color block design. This involves simple straight cuts using wheeled glass nippers. Very much like that coaster color block design we spoke about a little earlier. 
and the other letter opener was covered in sections of bright stained glass. I used a glass cutter, running pliers, wheeled glass nippers, and an electric glass grinder for this design. You can get as simple or complex in your design as you like. And then I grouted both letter openers as well. Whether the recipient loves opening cards and letters or just wants a beautiful mosaic to display on their coffee table, I think letter openers make a great personal gift. The next item on our list is such a sweet one. They're called ATCs or artist trading cards. They're slightly larger than a traditional business card and fully customizable. I made a handful of them in a video here on my channel, including a Valentine's Day card for my son, Owen. I'm talking about Owen a lot in this video, aren't I? The substrate is a simple piece of thin wood or acrylic or glass. The sky's the limit when it comes to design. I made a few in the peak assiette style, and the one that I made for my son combined letters that I made from Sculpey, plus I included glass, and a couple of the ATCs used various types of glass exclusively. All five were grouted, but yours might not need to be. It's a personal preference. In fact, one of my artist trading cards was grouted with glitter grout, which is pretty cool stuff. Artist trading cards are a great way to create a small mosaic that brings in the interests of the gift recipient, like hearts and flowers and favorite sayings. They're small enough to display on a mini easel on your desk, yet they're large enough for a coffee table or shelf. Next up is a mosaic vase. Now, I know this may sound super intimidating, but stick with me here because it can actually be so super easy and quick. Trust me. I've made a few different glass on glass mosaic vases here on the channel, which utilized a few different tiling styles. One involved a lot of tesserae cutting and the other not as much. So it's the vase that didn't require as much cutting that I'll be referencing here today. Three of the four sides of this fall inspired square glass vase were covered in three quarter inch uncut vitreous glass tile. Now, although in the video I did create a design on the fourth side using cut glass, you certainly don't have to. You could, in fact, cover all four sides in the same exact uncut vitreous tile design, then wait for it to dry and grout as usual. The vase would still be a showstopper. You won't find a vase like this in the marketplace. You get to select the vase substrate shape, the specific tesserae colors, and the grout color. And because you aren't cutting any of the tesserae, there's no tools required, and the tiling goes very, very quickly. I'll include a list down below in the description for all of the projects and tutorials that I'm discussing in today's video in case you'd like to create some mosaic gifts of your own. How am I doing? How am I doing? We are going through this list. This is exciting. Let's keep going. Next up is another quick and easy mosaic that goes hand in hand with an item we spoke about a little earlier in this list, and that's a ring dish. These are also known as catch-alls or valets. They're a perfect spot on a dresser or table to keep your everyday jewelry handy and together. In the video here on my channel, I used a variety of substrates to demonstrate how you can create a ring dish from obvious and not so obvious household items like small bowls, for example.
I made six different ring dishes in a variety of designs utilizing tesserae like stained glass, ceramic, and vitreous tile. All of the ring dishes were grouted as well. If you've got extra time for these mosaic ring dishes, you could watch the video where I covered them in epoxy resin. What the resin does is it seals in the mosaic work and grout permanently, as well as protects any jewelry from getting scratched by the grout. Now, if you don't cover your mosaic artwork with resin, but you still wanna grout it, then I would suggest using an unsanded grout. It wouldn't be a gift list, especially at this time of year, if I didn't include mosaic ornaments. Ornaments are easy and fun to make and can be incredibly personal. You can document likes or loves of the gift recipient and even mark achievements that occurred during the year. Think graduation, new job, new baby, new home. I've done a number of videos here on the channel all about ornament design and substrates and adhesives and tesserae and grouting. You name it, I've done it, and I will include a link to the playlist down below in the description so you can check it out. And let's be honest, ornaments aren't just for the Christmas tree or the holidays. I often keep ornaments out year-round on door handles and lamp switches. Making mosaic ornaments can be as easy or intricate as you want them to be. I've made mosaic ornaments here on the channel that utilized bricks from a home that is no longer in a family, a vintage lamp, and some plates that honored a 25th wedding anniversary. Next on the list is probably one of the most popular mosaic projects that I've done on my channel so far, and that's mosaic boxes. Who doesn't love a decorative box? They're fun to make and really add a personal touch to your home decor, and they're also very functional. They come in so many different sizes, so tiling one quickly is quite doable. In the video I did on this channel, I created three mosaic boxes in very different tiling styles using a variety of tesserae. I used materials such as stained glass, vitreous tile, small tea, glass rods, and ceramic. Again, you can create a mosaic box that matches the recipient's likes or there are home decor colors, or maybe highlight a dream of theirs. The next item on the list is one of my personal favorites, and that's mosaic barrettes. You wanna talk about a quick and easy mosaic to make? Barrettes are so fast. In the video I did here on the channel, I tiled two different styles of substrates. One barrette involved these bezel openings. So I had fun with it, including a mixed media rainbow style, which I loved so much I made one for myself, and then also other tiling styles which were simple to do. A couple just involved cutting three quarter inch vitreous tile down into circles using wheeled glass nippers. The other substrate style involved these bar barrettes. I used smalty and metallic gold ceramic to create a color block design. Neither barrette style was grouted, so once I was done tiling, I let them sit and dry for at least 24 hours, and then they were ready to be used or wrapped up to give as gifts. They're a super simple, easy, and adorable mosaic gift. Now, before you say, whoa, Julie, this next item doesn't look like it's going to take less than two hours to make. Okay, I hear you, but just stick with me here. An ungrouted, framed mosaic 
is a simple picassiette mosaic that you can make very quickly. In the example I made in the video here on the channel, I used random pieces of ceramic and porcelain and adhered them to a canvas mat board. And once I was done tiling, the mosaic was complete. There's no grouting involved. You're just cutting your tesserae, or even better, you're just adhering random scraps that you've got lying around. You're adhering them within the space you've marked off. To finish it off, you can put it in a regular picture frame without the glass, or you can frame it in a shadow box like I did here. I adhered the tesserae in a simple rectangle but you could use whatever outline you like, such as a circle or square, or maybe a star or heart or so on. You get the idea. I'll include a list down below in the description for all of the projects and tutorials that I discussed in today's video in case you'd like to create some mosaic gifts of your own. Question of the day, let me know down in the comments what's your favorite mosaic gift to make. Let's get a longer list going down in the comments so that we all have a longer list of gift options. I can't wait to hear what you guys are making. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's see how we do here. There is a thunderstorm moving in. So let's see if we can get this done before it makes its way here. One second. So besides the rain, there is a video game competition session, something or other going on out there. And he's been asked to please be quiet while I film. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Are we ready? I got my Christmas plaid on. I am so in the mood. All to co- nope. My child is not cooperating out there. Either is Mother Nature with the rain. Also what I should have asked was if you do make any of the projects I mentioned on today's video, also include that down in the comments. Let me know how it turns out and maybe who it was for. Did you enjoy the project? Are you going to make more of them? What tesserae did you use? Blah, 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 blah. Can you hear him out there? He totally forgot that his mother asked him to shh, be quiet. Be quiet. Let's get to it. Okay. I think we're done. If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.